Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keyboard Kings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your wired keyboard into a wireless keyboard. So I made a similar video a while back, but I realized that it wasn't very in-depth and it wasn't very good at explaining everything. So in this video, I've done more visuals and I'm going to go a little bit more in-depth of exactly how to turn your wired keyboard into a wireless one. So a quick disclaimer, I haven't actually tried this method myself, however I have been on the mechanical keyboard forums as well as seen plenty of YouTube videos doing this exact method and I know that it 100% works. So the first thing you're going to need for your wired keyboard is a USB microcontroller. So you can find these things online, I think they're about 30 to 40 bucks. You're going to need two of them, you're going to need one to plug into your keyboard and you're going to need another one to plug into your PC. Unfortunately, there's no way for these two microcontrollers to communicate with each other. So what you're going to need is either a radio transmitter or a Bluetooth transmitter. I personally prefer the Bluetooth one, but either one should work fine. You're going to need to plug in the transmitter to both the keyboard and the computer. Now you should be able to just go onto your PC. You should find the keyboard in your settings and you connect to them and it should be as simple as that. Now if you're using the radio transmitter some people have had problems with connection and the easiest way to resolve that I've found is to just change the radio frequency up or down a few notches on both the computer and the keyboard until one of them works. There might be some interference that is messing up your connection. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to turn your wired keyboard into a wireless keyboard, you're going to need to have a USB microcontroller. Plug that into the wire of your keyboard as well as your PC. You're going to need a Bluetooth or a radio transmitter. Plug that into the microcontroller of both the computer and the PC. You're going to want to make sure they're on the right frequencies of each other. And then you're just going to go into your PC settings, devices. You should be able to find your keyboard and connect. Pretty much as simple as that. It ain't too difficult. The only problem with this method is it's bulky and pretty ugly looking so your setups not gonna look the best but you're gonna have a wireless keyboard but at the end of the day when you have this mess it just looks like crap and is it really worth it? In my opinion it's not really and you're still gonna have that wire so you're gonna have to find a way to get rid of the wire and how to try to find a way to make it look nice. You could probably tuck it away somehow, maybe get a keyboard tray and tuck it inside the keyboard tray. Maybe you could find a way to look at, make it look nice, but it's just, it's complicated. It's, in my opinion, not really worth it. But if you want your wired keyboard to be wireless, that's the only way to do it. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of keyboard reviews and just talk about keyboards in general. So like I said, smash the like button, subscribe, and do the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.